started. There's definitely a quorum here. Hey, Mert. Uh, yeah, so, uh, you know, actually, I'd love to praise Mert for jumping in and, and representing Omega and giving us uh, more insight into that very important working group. Huge. I want to praise Mitch. So much praise for Mitch to push the uh, the coordination behind the scenes, the cat herding, getting getting the proposals up on the forum so that we can uh, move on to the next stage of of the of the pram debates so huge and of, of course praise vitor and pedro for the endless work that they're putting into the dashboard getting it tight making it making it work so well i want to praise sam and paulo for the incredible work that they're doing making sure we have a safe launch uh for all of our smart contract systems i want to praise zeptimus for always being behind the scenes doing so much work making our youtube look great and uh, of course praise tam for incredible leadership uh, in the stewards call, always knowing how to like sort what do we need to do in our stewards council? So where do where where can we as a collective be have the most impact uh, as stewards and putting our focus there? It's uh, really a talent. And with that, I'll pass it to Mitch. Can I just interrupt? I'm keeping time for Zeptimus today. Uh, is it 45 seconds or one minute? Yeah, 45 seconds. Okay. Wait, no. So, yeah, it's 45. Okay. Thanks, Griff. Let me just um, pull up the praise here. Um, so I'd like to praise Nebs for his work on the reward system uh, front end. Praise Nuggin for the RAD presentation and great dev work on the RAD rewards analytics dashboard. Um, praise to uh, a whole swack of new uh, quantifiers that joined the pool just in the last week or so. Um, praise to MS and Zep for pulling together the quantifier onboarding process. Praise Christopher for leading the reward system and uh, adapting the plan and being fully transparent about it. Uh, praise to Pedro, Vitor, and Nuggen for putting the finishing touches and the last little bugs on the CCD MVP. Uh, Gray's praise to Griff for leading params and getting the CCD past the finish line. Oh, that's so ruthless. Oh, okay, fine. Um, take it, Lauren. Hey everyone, um, I want to praise Tam for being a super organized steward lead. She just like, she always comes prepared to the calls. She always has valuable things to add. She always makes sure everybody is heard. She always makes sure we're on time. She's amazing. I want to praise Tam a ton. Uh, I want to praise also everybody who's been pushing forward with the params and like submitting proposals. I don't know who's in charge of these like top five proposals right now that are on the forum, but everybody who submitted proposals that we're going to be uh, assessing. Um, I also want to praise Mitch for being all over the place. I don't know how he's like able to be such a rock star and giveth and such a rock star in the TUC always, and then also always being confident and speaking up his mind about things and as well, making sure that we're organized. And I also want to praise Zefti for doing a great behind the scenes work all over the place and even jumping into the giveth, giveth and supporting us. And, um, I'll pass it to uh, Chewy. Thanks, Lauren. Um... I'll just improvise. Uh, I want to praise uh, Griff, uh, Tam, Lauren, uh, Juanca, Lidi for uh, leading a lot of efforts around uh, uh, the debates and uh, the parameters and new proposals. Also, Nate, sorry, I forgot about that. Mitch, uh, I would like to give him special praise because he his leadership with everything that is going on around uh, taking this decision has been just remarkable it's just amazing i want to praise also septi for uh inspiring uh la montaña rusa with uh, the tc casino um and uh i i will i would also like to praise zero asset laser uh Durgaras, nate uh juanca for uh all of your contributions and comps and i'll just type in the rest i'll pass it to nagan Hey guys, I didn't have time to prepare this, so I'll write them all the praise down in the in the channel. But I just wanted to give a special praise shout out to Pedro and Vitor for the last sprint on the on the dashboard, and for MS for all his insights and help with the with the red board. And I'll write a pass to Dave. Then I'll pass to Edu. Thank you. Uh, sorry, didn't hear that. Um, I will pass it on to, sorry, I will dispraise praise to Tam um, for covering um, the community working group call. I want to dispraise praise to Septimus for being present and helping with the recordings. I want to dispraise praise to Mitch 
for also uh, being so much present on, on the parameters discussion and organization wise. I want to dispraise praise for, to T-Well for uh, allowing uh, TEC to have a spotlight on One Hive TV. Uh, I want to dispraise praise Durgaraz for being every time more present, uh, even though he seems to be clueless, he's not clueless and he is actively trying to learn. So that's highly appreciated. I want to dispraise praise to Asi Laser for his message that I didn't reply before today, uh, this week, sorry. And I will pass it on to mm, Libby. Hey folks, I'm glad to see so many unprepared people this morning because that's my normal modus operandi. Uh, I am prepared today. I want to praise Vitor, Se uh, Sam, Paulo, Pedro, Nugging, Octopus, YGG, and MS, all programmers and software engineers that I never get to appreciate properly. I want to praise Zepti for being everywhere and helping everyone. Chewy for leading teams like a champ. Mitch for his work on the params and the parties. Wonka for leading gravity. I think it is needed. Uh, we don't have interpersonal conflict resolution much in this space. Acid Laser for the awesome graphics. Gideon Rowe for his insightful, tactful writing. And Griff and Tam for being awesome leaders. And with that, I'll pass it over to, is it uh, Brody Sapa? Love the name. I'm going to mute. Uh, this is my first time here. I don't know protocol. Uh, I'll praise Gideon Rowe for introducing me to the environment. And uh, I don't know the name of the two devs on Giveth that I was just in the previous meeting with, but I want to give praise to them too. That's it for me. And I'll pass it over to uh, Zeptimus. Thanks, Septi. Yeah, I would like to praise uh, Durgadas because, as Edu said, um, um, I feel that he is every time um, having a more clear vision of, of, of uh, token engineering and token design. So that's really cool. Uh, besides all of his cultural uh, advice and, and, and knowledge. And I would like to praise uh, Acid Laser for being uh, super fast and super proactive with the designs. I would like to praise Zero for taking the, the Twitter and Chewy because I know that um, leading comms must be super frantic, like um, promoting the, the, the proposals and the par parties and then the debates and now rock the boat. So like amazing. Yeah, praise Griff for his guidance and Mitch um, for his friendship too. And uh, I will uh, pass to Lauren. I already went. Um, let's sling it to Olivia. Okay. Thanks. I praise Sid Cold, Invent and Chill, Tio, Hendrik, Pedro, Decentralized, SDGs, Aloysius, and Phil for the incredible presentations they did today on the praise system. Praise Nate for being proactive on the changes he wants to see. Ben for collaborating on top of Nate's document. Great duocracy coming up. Praise MS for his kindness, attention, and great contributions to the reward system. Nuggin for the beautiful demo he gave yesterday on rewards. Praise Acid Laser and Katarina for going through every comment and the visuals with me and brainstorming improvements. Praise Mertz for always showing up and holding the ground for Omega. And I'll pass to Raindrop. Praise Livia for being on it, man. And Raindrop, are you there? 
No? Okay, let's throw it to Acid Laser, uh, and Raindrop will sort out their mic. Oh, oh, you're uh, you're muted too, Asin. Thank you. Raise great Juanca, Chuy, Mitch, Lawrence, Empty Town for all the love you build at Brown Party. Special praise to Juanca and Chuy for the Spanish Brown Party. Uh, uh, Ivy for keep pushing the legal working group. Praise Chuy for being present this week even health issues. Praise Michelle for all the work she does behind the scenes. Praise Livia and Katarina for keep working at the decision making infographic. Praise Juanca for the second generation pop idea and um, praise Montmano for being the praise master. And praise David for keep coming to the community calls and all the calls. And I'll pass it to Zero. Hello. Uh, well, I just got here, so uh, <laughs> you caught me off guard. Uh, I would like. Uh, to praise you for uh, the amazing graphics you always uh, create, like they're amazing. Praise Chewy for all his amazing cons work. Praise David for his for everything he does. <laughs> uh, praise Durgadas for uh, being uh, uh, a spiritual guide sometimes. Uh, praise Edu for being a great uh, community leader. Praise uh, Grief for being an amazing leader. Uh, praise Juan Cabell for uh, uh, being an amazing person. And uh, uh, also praise uh, Tam, Nagan, Lauren, and Libby uh, for all of their support. Uh, praise Optimus for, uh, for being a great gamer. <laughs> Uh, nice. And the, the bell went off, so you you can pass it too. Ah, sorry. Uh, pass it to I'll pass it to David. Oh, oh, that's right. And you just came in. No, I can actually pass it for you because David already went. I'm a Aloysius. Sorry. No worries, Zero. Thanks, man. Thank you. I want to praise Phil for being an awesome partner during our praise research. I want to praise. Octopus for being a motivator and encouraging me. I want to dish praise to MZ for his continued mentorship. I want to dish praise to Ellie for allowing me to ask all the questions. I want to praise Chewy for being open-hearted in public. I want to praise Sidcode for uh, cheering me up. I want to praise Juan for continuing to do the internal work. And I have no idea who to pass it to. I got you. Let's throw it to a Durgadas. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to praise uh, Aloysius for showing up and uh, showing the way for the um, the f folks out on the on the margins, and we need to do more of that. Um, <clears throat> to, uh, all the stewards, really, for all of the leadership at this crucial time, everyone's really stepping up, and it's hard to uh, single out any one person for that um, because everyone is uh, just really pulling together. Uh, it's almost impossible to distinguish you really at this point because you're all just so cohesive and that's such a beautiful thing. I'd like to praise uh, Juan in particular for um, yeah doing his own internal work and and uh, uh, always one of the biggest growth uh, things I've ever seen from any person um, in my uh, experience. Um, and let's see. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I'm flagging a little bit here. Uh, I'm not sure to pass it to either. Thanks. Thank you, Durgadas. Uh, let's throw it to Mert. Hey. Uh, firstly, I would like to praise like Griff, Tamara, Durgadas, and like all those people who want to make me feel very included in the TC environment giving very good like encouragements. I really appreciate it, first of all, I would like to say. Secondly, I would like to praise like Juan, Durgadas, Shebnam, like Nick, all those people who stepped up in Omega and make it vivid again. Like, make it more vivid. And also, I like in general, like, praise all of you guys, like Alicia's, giving like very inf very good information like sources to and that's all. 
Nice. I can pass it to you. It's getting down there. Actually, Raindrop, is your mic working? Do you want to do you want to dish anyone praise? I wrote them and um, they replied that they are not going to praise it. Ah, perfect. Thank, thank you, Edu. That's great. Uh, how about Zadok? Are, do you want to do some praise? No? Okay. Uh, then, Tam, you can finish us off. Okay, cool. So, uh, Nuggin, you stole the week with that rad dashboard. Uh, I praise Livia because it's not possible to overstate her impact on our cultural build. Bye bye V for he's a jolly good fellow. And Angela because she brings the TE to the TEC. All the Pram uh, debate hosts. Um, Phil H for joining the debate this week and having really insightful comments. I'd like to praise the Prime Dow team, Rank, Luke, Pat, Felipe, Alp, Ada, Ruben, uh, for the Prime Launch Go Live. It's really Web3 Vanguard things. Uh, Gideon for having such a um, such belief in the TEC and uh, really trying to, to strengthen what we do here. Uh, Gene for being such a great guide. Eduardo for being such an amazing co-steward uh, of the TEC and all of the warmth that you bring to our community. And I'll put the rest in the praise channel. Wow, thank you so much, Tam. That was fantastic. Uh, what a great way to move into Community Call 61. Uh, welcome to the party, guys. Uh, it's it's a fun one. So uh, and, and if you love praise like we all do, you know, it's not something we just do on Thursday. You can go into the praise channel at any time of the week and or any channel on Discord. Just write exclamation mark praise. And go wild. Uh, if you if you never dish praise before and you don't know if you have the power, you might have to ask someone, a steward, to give you the power and just give you like a couple of tips. But it's pretty self-explanatory once you get the hang of it. And we love our praise. And soon it's going to get quantified again with a n our new system. So that's great. Also, we're doing something special today. Uh, we uh, turn on your videos. Uh, let's all put on some smiles. We don't have we have a lot of screenshots of us like just kind of like in the middle. Of a, of a call, but we don't have any ones where we're all smiling and happy. So we wanted to try to get get a uh, get a happy picture. So uh, let's if if you can get your get your video on. Yeah, there we go. Put on a big smile, and we can uh, we can take the screenshot later. So oh yeah, C uh, Craig is here. That's a great smile, Craig. The Kagatia smile is 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 dominating. Okay, smile. Hey. Okay, great, great. Uh, thank you, and we'll, we'll take the screenshot on YouTube. Thank you so much for that one. Okay, so just a rem and we're gonna probably do that on a more regular basis. So just a reminder, we have $1.5 million already. Oh my God, how crazy is that? Uh, we're designing what to do with it right now, so definitely come to some debates. Uh, there's a couple announce there's a couple things that I always like to remind everyone of that number one, the way that we keep this happy, lovey dovey community is through gravity and conflict res. That starts early when there's a conflict. Uh, it, it's best to get it when it's early and that way we can repair it from behind the scenes. A gravity team, the active gravitons, you can DM them whenever you want. If you see some awkwardness between two people or even just someone's getting someone else's name wrong. You know, just uh, go go tell a graviton, and they'll they'll like kind of address the problem in a in a very nonchalant, easy way. Uh, or if if things are getting bigger, and you want to like document a challenge that's happening between two people, even if you're one of the people, or you want to anon anonymously report something that could be better with the relational fabric of our community, there's this awesome type form. Uh, please, please use it uh, so that we don't so that we can have the best community in crypto, as it seems that we do. Uh, also, advice process is what makes us, our, this community so great. How we can really distribute power between everybody is through advice process. So anytime you have to make a decision about something that might have a larger impact, make sure to talk to the people who are going to be affected by that decision and talk to the experts on the topic before making the decision. And then everything's easy. Uh, also, this community call is always open for feedback. Please, we're having a nice uh, feedback session. This might be the last time I announce this, I think, but we're, we're, um, uh, we're collecting the data. If you think that this call can get better, tell us how. We're gonna restructure it for the new year, I'm sure. Uh, also, just a reminder, what are we even doing here? Do you guys know? I don't know. Oh yeah, I do. We have a mission, vision, values. So the mission, the mission is uh, to become a shelling point for the token engineering community. 
Our goal is to create an economic layer that will fund projects that discover, develop, and proliferate the best practices for engineering safe tokenized economies while aligning our collective success with the individual benefit of our token holders. Our social layer is even more important. Uh, that can't be emphasized enough because the social layer will unite the token engineering field around ethical principles, standards, tools, and methodologies that will emerge as this nascent field advances. And with that, we can pass it to the steward of stewards. Tam, take it away. Cool. So uh, on this first slide, uh, what really stands out is there are key contingent dates for voting on the commons params. And I'm gonna leave it uh, up as a mystery and let uh, Olivia reveal whether or not we're in the next phase of this, uh, of this uh, debate, of this uh, uh, phase or not. The next phase of this phase or not doesn't make sense, but I'm gonna keep moving on. Uh, we're in Sprint 24. Uh, we're gonna run through December 23rd. If you click on this link, you will um, enter our Sprint board and I'm just gonna quickly bring this up. Um, this is where you can see what we are mostly working on when we do update it and move things into the in-progress. Feel free to hop on, uh, add some comments, or add some new issues if you think there's something that needs to be done uh, in the TEC. Um, the Stewards Working Group meets um, on the top right here. Um, sprint planning every other Friday, sprint retrospective every other Thursday. Uh, there's a stewards council that alternates with the retro and we have a weekly on Wednesday. It's open to everyone. Everyone's invited to come and it actually uh, provides some great perspective when other people do jump on. And then on the next slide, um, we have the stewards working group proposal uh, on the forum now. And um, there hasn't been too much feedback about that, and that's cool. Uh, I guess there's not too many questions. Uh, I also want to share that the manifesto is uh, up to date with um, essentially uh, some commitments around being active and present, servant leaders in the know, and then the offboarding and on onboarding process as well. Um, we had our stewards uh, council today. Uh, and we talked about rocking the vote. So um, uh, what will happen uh, when the votes will uh, take place for the shortlist, uh, which is the precursor vote to the runoff. Um, and the stewards uh, weekly, what was on our mind this week, uh, we checked in on who's gonna be around over the holidays, the next two weeks, a lot of people will be on vacation, but some of us will still be around. Uh, checked on, checked in on who's planning to be at ETH Denver, uh, tracking our critical dates for uh, Commons Upgrade, the pieces of work that would actually block us being able to launch the, the Commons. Um, and, um, Oh yeah, sorry, that's actually for next week. So I am not gonna be here next Wednesday. So I prepare the agenda uh, and Nate will be leading the stewards working group. Um, and we um, had some discussions around pre-production bounties or um, retroactive uh, shows of appreciation or bonuses for some of the contributors to be bundled into some of the working group proposals. Um, what else? There is the upcoming TE Academy to be determined in January. Not sure when it will happen yet. Uh, and if you want to know what's going on in the TEC, there is a forum post, which is a very high level, um, basically a, a, like a summary of this call. So it's uh, uh, what all of the working groups or Manu transcribes what all of the working groups are working on, including links. And you can hop uh, into this forum post if you want to go back to something we said in this call. Uh, I just want to say, Twitter likes and retweets is love. So show some love to Token Engineering Commons now. Um, I've uh, I've gone through and I really love this Twitter post of uh, Gardens Dow. So show some love to our fellow uh, Gardens Dow as well. I was hoping that Vi would make it into uh, into this call. He said he would be late. And maybe can we just hold off on announcing Vi until he hops into this call and pass back to me at that time? Okay. And then with that, I'll pass to uh, Juan Carlos for gravity.
Thanks, Tam. Um, yeah, well, um, in gravity, um, things are uh, flowing good and we are planning to have a holiday uh, meeting next Tuesday. And um, our idea is to have like a Graviton get together and to, to be able to share between uh, the first and second generation of Gravitons and also the facilitators of the Graviton trainings um, to talk about what we are looking for next year because uh, we will be talking about uh, funding, about um, um, DAO structuring, about um, developing um, conflict competence, and also to be able to share uh, and to get to know um, the Gravitons, because like we had this trading and a lot of people came, but we didn't have that space for the Gravitons to like connect and to share experiences between them. So I think it would be really cool to have this this um, holiday meeting to like um, continue strengthening um, our relationships um, as Gravitons and in gravity. So yeah, next Tuesday uh, is not going to be a, a, a coordination call of Gravity. We will have this Graviton get together and we will also share what will be the uh, funding proposal that we hope to be submitting um, to, the, to the forum for advice process um, later that, that same week. Also today, after this call, we will uh, go into chapter number 12 of the uh, Nonviolent Communication book by Balshar Rosenberg. Um, the chapter number, tw number 12 is liberating ourselves and counseling others. So if you want to liberate yourself and be able to counsel others, join that call. And um, yeah, as you know, uh, Gravity also has a Gitcoin grant. You can support us. And uh, what we are doing is that we are building a conflict competence and conf um, competence to manage conflict uh, in Web3 space. And Griff, can you uh, pass to the next slide, please? Because I would like to uh, dish praise and make a special mention to all these people that uh, is more than 50 people that, that during this year spend uh, time developing competence to uh, manage conflict um, internally and collectively. So yeah, this way we are we are building um, competence um, to 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 um, have better coordination in in DAOs. So yeah, shout out to everyone, and yeah, with that I pass to Commons Forum. Yeah, major praise to all those gravitons keeping every every uh, DAO community strong and healthy. Uh, Common Swarm, there's uh, we're 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 stuck. So we this is where we were last week, and this is where we are this week. We had some we we discovered some issues when setting the res, uh, the Commons upgrade. This is why we do demos. Uh, so uh, the vote didn't work. We actually had to, uh, so okay. Let me back up. We have our audit done. The ABC is safe to play. The Gardens front end is set. Thank you, Gardens team. Major praise to Gabby and Fabri. EVM CRISPR, totally upgradable. And now we can upgrade our DAOs with one vote. It's a super cool tool. Uh, we have this uh, ABC demo. Uh, so if you want to see what the, what the interacting with the bonding curve will look like, this, is, this demo is live and, uh, and you can use it uh, if you have test die, very easy. If you want to play, I can send you some test die. Many of you might have test TC even. So that's super cool. That's our bonding curve. How fun is that? One thing I want to point out, by the way, is that the tribute is just only displayed in this little question mark, which uh, I think is relevant to uh, having a high exit tribute. <laughs> my, vote for me. Vote for my proposal. Anyway, uh, and and then uh, also we have test hatch the test hatch DAO. We we successfully upgraded on the on the test hatch side. So right now we have a hatch DAO with one point five million dollars. Well, that hatch DAO is going to upgrade into the commons. So we actually successfully did the upgrade. So in our test hatch DAO, we had one point five million. Uh, T die test die, and we were able to make strike a deal using this cool tool called migration tools that we built, where the the commons uh, that we deployed could make a deal with this other with the the test hatch DAO and and create tokens for the people who have tokens at the test hatch and swap money all in one magical deal. 
So it was a super cool DAO to DAO interaction. Uh, and uh, we were able to uh, then all the test TC got minted. So that's all great. Uh, we're just checking things off, right? Then we have our test garden that uh, we have the parameters set in the, the, the conviction voting parameters that are actually matching TEC Casino right now, as that was the leading proposal at the time. And we have everything set in the garden for conviction voting and DAO voting. But then we went to upgrade the t to the bonding curve and upgrade the garden into a commons, and we got stuck. We uh, the reserve ratio ended up being 20% instead of 2%, and we uh, finally discovered why. Sam explained it to me. Honestly, I didn't fully get it, but we do. We did create a whole testing suite to understand to make sure that this doesn't happen again. We were missing some tests, and now uh, we will have the, the a new vote to open the ABC. It was great because we actually got to test the the. Um, the challenging proposals and stuff. So we, so we actually opened the bonding curve and then challenged the proposal uh, when we uh, before it was executed so we could pull back the, the vote. And, then, uh, and so that all works great. But we're going to have another vote this weekend, probably even today. It might get out or tomorrow morning. So uh, Europe time. So uh, if you guys want to vote, you don't have to vote, but there will be a fun vote to play with. Uh, in our test garden, if you want to play it out, you can find it in this slide. So that's where we're at. Uh, one last, uh, one last step to get everything running, and then it's just click the button and run the scripts for the Commons upgrade. Uh, so with that, I'll pass it to SoftGov. Thanks, Griff. Sharing my screen. So, um, yeah, I think this is what we were waiting for to know if we reached our metrics or not. And yes, we reached our metrics. So we had talked about we needing five proposals at least to move forward with with the dates we had in mind, just because we wanted to have at least like a stack of quality proposals and uh, having proposals that had people backing them up. So the debates would have enough quorum and we could move forward confidently. So we have this five proposals that Tamara, Gideon, Juanca, uh, Mitch, and Zeptimus are backing up. I put them on a list here. Each one of them have their uh, forum posts. Thanks so much for everyone who wrote the posts. It makes it way easier to understand um, what are these proposals about? And just a disclaimer that this is just a signaling that we had to move forward. They don't represent any type of voting preference. All proposals on token log are eligible for votes and you cannot get your, your votes back. So if you vote, um, just be mindful that that is your like final decision of where you're moving um, your tokens. Token log works in a quadratic way and for you to vote, you need to have TCH tokens. So uh, if you were here at the time of the hatch, you will be able to vote. If not, not you, you won't vote, unfortunately. But uh, participate in the debates, share your opinions if, you, if you're not able to vote and contribute to the discussion and for us all to make the best decision about this. So this is really the time to rock the vote. And on next FGov call, on Tuesday the 21st, we'll have the Stewards Council for deciding the runoff proposals. So we've been doing that for the last few times that we used collaborative economics. And what happens is that the top proposals, on, so token log is a curation tool, the top proposals there um, might represent very well uh, the sentiment of the community, but sometimes there is like, two forks that are very similar to each other that end up on top. And um, that actually signals that there is a higher preference to uh, some qualities of some proposals. So um, the stewards just come together to look into the diversity of the proposals that we have on top and being uh, as fair as possible to the votes that happen and not changing any type of direction. And this call is open for everyone. So that will happen next Tuesday, make sure you vote before that, and we'll have the runoff uh, going until next year. 
and um, to help you make this decision, Nate made this amazing proposal module um, summary. So you can see like proposal side by side. It's it's incredible. It's so much work to put this up, and he did it so quick. This is amazing. Uh, so this will help a lot to understand what what are you voting, what are you doing, and then Ben's came over and improved uh, this up and added a new section for. Oh, did I open the same one twice? Uh, for what what are they about? So like a really quick TLDR of each one of the proposals to help making that decision. Um, I'll suggest that they both merge this sheet so they are next to each other and it's easier for everyone. Uh, so really great work, Ben and Nate. And on the last SoftGov call, we had a decision about the snapshot moment we are. So oh my, I think this is still, oh, OK, I'm seeing Griff screen. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so. Um, we made a decision about how to move forward with the technical limitations we had. So on Snapshot, we decided to use only quadratic voting and quadratic rank choice voting, but we were the first ones to ever use quadratic rank choice voting, and this needed to be a strategy, a new strategy that Pedro worked on and submitted to Snapshot. So we have that strategy working, but it happened that this strategy um, change the outcome of all the other strategies. So, so the, the other votes would become, all of them would have a layer of quadratic on top of, um, of what they're, how, how they initially worked. So quadratic voting end up becoming like quadratic, quadratic voting. So to not have that happening, um, we decided that we'll only add the quadratic rank choice voting strategy when we need to use uh, rank choice voting. This voting becomes a little bit permission. So anytime someone wants to submit a rank choice um, voting proposal, it's not that often that this type of vote is, is needed. Uh, you have to talk to someone that has permission to add that strategy. But these people are uh, all the stewards. And um, finally, we, we had a talk about how good it would be to have uh, some cultural understanding of all the proposals that are happening. What is going to be the impact of the params into our cultural build? Um, so after this call, we're going to have a cultural debate design, and everyone is welcome to join. And with that, I'll pass to Edu with Communitas. Thank you, Libby. And um, in Communitas this week, just basically to, to brief everyone, we have three main calls. We have our community working group call that happens on Monday at 8 p.m. CET. We also have the orientation call. So if anyone here is new to the space and haven't been on our orientation call, you're welcome to join. It happens on Wednesdays, 6 p.m. Everyone is welcome. It doesn't matter at what time you can join. You can always join at any moment of the orientation call. And then we finally have the C Lounge, which happens on Fridays, 5 p.m. on CET. And basically, the lounge is a safe space for everyone to join and to just connect with each other in a different level that is not just work related. Uh, and on this week um, uh, updates, we basically are still seeking for guides, people who are uh, willing to engage with newcomers, people who are interested on in learning about the TEC in a different way, people who are interested on um, and on joining this uh, group of people. Uh, that we call guides. And we have also an update on this, which is basically we are joining forces with Gravity to sort of see how the role of Graviton and the role of guides can be join, can join forces and uh, amplify the message of and the work that both of uh, these two roles uh, do. So if you're a Graviton interested in being a guide or the other way around, uh, please send me a message to me or to Tam so we can sort of fill you in on what the guide role uh, it's about.
And then this this weekend, basically, we will do the outreach to uh, for hatchers. Uh, we will create the hatcher label on Discord for sending messages to hatcher and keep them updated about uh, the latest uh, votations, dates, and so on. So it gets more agile the communication in that sense. And on this week, in this weekly sync, we got hacked uh, by Grief Param's party. So we split the we split the orientation call. Uh, we had fifteen minutes of orientation call and forty five minutes of debate. So that was fun, um, and it was interesting to do that that swipe. And yeah, so this is pretty much everything for um, for this week on Communitas. And I will pass it on to Omega. Can I just hop in with uh, one last sure. update from the stewards working call be working group before? Uh, this is a sure. Video. Around. Go ahead. Cool. Uh, so we also had a, another big event in uh, in the stewards working group this week, and it's uh, the nomination and acceptance of uh, from Five IV, who is the latest steward in the TEC. Um, just want to read together, read out the nomination uh, that was written for him. Uh, Vi started contributing to the TEC around February or March of this year. Since then, he's made himself an indispensable part of the TEC. He contributes to multiple working groups and work streams. For some time, he has been single-handedly supporting and improving our Discord and the other coordination tools we depend on to exist. <laughs> More than that, he is warm and welcoming, humble and informative. His voice and expression brings harmony and good vibes. All interactions with Phi are a pleasure. There's an extra cool factor that he'll be our youngest steward and maybe even the youngest mm -hmm. steward in any DAO, uh, but I feel that he's really earned this nomination through many months of constant and consistent high quality contributions and interactions. So I'd like to just take a moment of the for he's a jolly good fellow and invite Vi Vi V to share uh, anything that he'd like to share today. Well, it's really great uh, to be uh, accepted as a steward and be invited as a steward and I'd really like to see how this goes. Uh, I'm feeling slightly responsible, more responsible for the community, so that's neat. And yeah, the, I, I, I'm not saying much. Less, uh, sorry, I'm a little bit disoriented. Uh, thank you for all mm -hmm. of you and yeah, let's see how this goes. Thanks, Fai. Welcome, bye bye, V. Right, Welcome and you can take it, Shana. Yes, I will. Here we go. Omega reached <laughs> reached a, a milestone, um, namely that we went through both. Um, initiative proposals and actually um, structured them into a funding uh, proposal, the token engineering ethics participatory research proposal even made it to the um, to the forum. Please um, have a read um, what we are basically, how we got to the token engineering principles, the initial set of four, and how we be, want to support token engineers uh, during those um, ethical dilemmas or difficult situations in their networks uh, through these principles as well as through practice sessions. I had mentioned this. You can read this through now in the post and engage with it, reply, ask questions, and anything uh, you want to know, please uh, engage. And also in the token engineering, um, Commons Omega um, channel. The other part, uh, the second um, initiative that we have, Matt is also here. I, if you want to take it and explain a bit more, we also have the token engineering um, consilience library funding proposal together. Yeah, like I can go on. Can I share my screen? Yes, go ahead. Matt is basically uh, uh, one of the first who um, took the lead and, and taking on initiative. So thank you. 
you're welcome. So uh, now we are very close to publish our second initiative proposal. Uh, we, we did kickstart with the notion and I am almost done with writing like the proposal. Uh, sh should I like present the phases of the proposal? Mm, just just a quick briefly. update, like the phases maybe and that people get to okay, uh, know, know your voice and name. <laughs> okay, perfect. So we and Griff is going to cut you off. <laughs> so run. <laughs> Go ahead. So we create a library in a three phases. In the, in the proposal, we want funding for the first phase, which will be a very like concrete uh, library that we will have like subject matter creations on the transdisciplinary approach in token engineering. Then we will go on phase two, which we will make it a open source meta library kind of thing that people can participate in it. So since we have discussed like and at, at here the like wisdom of crowd approach in Omega Working Group, we wanted to make a source library which can also create their own creations. We will reward them and incentivize them. The second step in the second step. And the third step, if if community likes library and if they think this should go forward, we will make it more culturally inclined to Web3 space, with dynamic NFTs and all those meta profiles, badges and reputation points. So this will be like, according to demand, this will be the third part of the proposal. So now we are at that stage. So we are all the, almost done with the library proposal. And uh, we, we okay. just discussed how to like how to allocate our funds. And we decided that we will do it afterwards, like uh, internal discussion. Shabnam is right, though. I do need okay. to give you 15 seconds to <laughs> all finish good. that. So, so just maybe for for next um, for our next meeting, then you can engage with the proposal that uh, Matt shared um, if you want, but also engage when the forum post is up. Uh, we will um, shout it through, and we will meet after the holiday season on January fifth, going a bit deeper into working group uh, Omega. Uh, yeah, tagline, what is finding unity and diversity? And with that, uh, we give it up for Tech Labs. Sean? Yep. Well, Sean's not here today, so uh, yeah. I'll just quickly review some of the awesome learning opportunities you have in the token engineering space. You know, we 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 have a. There's so many cool things. Uh, there is a Solidity study group happening in the TEC, hosted by Meta Verde. Uh, that'll be going on till the 24th, playing crypto zombies. It's really fun. Uh, they have the reward system conference. Actually, that already passed, but it was really good. Christopher gave a great pr presentation. Uh, so, but that's still on YouTube, and it's definitely worth checking out. A eight hours of like, how do we reward people in DAOs? Uh, there's Dao to Dao workshops in Prime Dao, uh, and they just had a very, very interesting launch. And so it's always cool to check out what's going on with the Prime Dao guys. Token Spice, uh, which is a framework for uh, doing token engineering around specifically token economies, it's a really cool tooling. And if you want to learn more about it, then you want to go definitely go to the TE Discord, uh, the TE Academy Discord on Mondays at 8 a.m. West Coast time. And uh, long tail finance and block science also have open office hours where you can wax philosophically with the geniuses and uh, talk about uh, the finer details of, of token engineering. And with that, I'll pass it to Chewy in comms. Thank you, Griff. Uh, in comms, we are meeting every uh, Tuesday. But now that we have uh, these amazing teams put together, we're also going to be meeting uh, multiple times on, on Mondays to start of the week and, and get to plan uh, ahead of what's going to happen. So right now we're going to be working a lot in promoting the params debates that are left and rock the vote, of course. So um, 
Uh, the, the teams that we're going to be starting off with are the Token Engineering Academy team, the Animation and Video Production uh, team, HubSpot Translations and Twitter Planning. Uh, and we're going to be having uh, bounties pretty soon. So uh, keep close to comms. And yeah, let's help uh, advance token engineering with, uh, with communications. Also, shout out to Juanca and Durgaras uh, for this meme. Um, I, I love that it's it's based on the Cheers theme. And if uh, somebody hasn't heard that song, um, it pretty much defines uh, the culture in TEC. Uh, and, and it's so catchy <laughs> in, in like kind of like 90s style. So um, yeah, I'm pretty sure you'll like that. <laughs> and with that, I'll pass it to Zero in, uh, I mean, Septi in Transparency. Yeah, I'll take it for Ivy. Uh, we meet every two weeks. I believe we don't have a call tomorrow, but we have a call after that. And we're just going over the different pieces and, and parts of the of the legal side of the TEC. And really legal is more than just like, oh no, the lawyers and fear. It's also informing our community about what they can expect and me meeting expectations and trying to instead of using very complex legal terms, just explain what is happening in a way that can act as an agreement between us as a community and the individuals who are participating. And so uh, there, there are a few terms and conditions that we're working on, the conviction voting uh, the, and the ABC, as well as just reviewing the covenant, which I believe uh, got reviewed this weekend. And uh, I'm excited to hear what Ivy, I don't know if Ivy mentioned it to you, Livia, but I, I think things are cool. So, uh, but with that, I will pass it to myself for parameters, which I know much more about the status of. Uh, we're, we're going, you guys all play with the dashboard. Uh, we, we did an, an amazing job. Uh, Pedro, Vitor, and Nuggin really finished it off so well. And uh, thank you guys for, for putting in the extra hours to, to get this thing polished. We added a couple of new features that you see that really, uh, we, thanks to your user testing, so we know what this really needed. Uh, but the big thing is there's a few debates coming. This is, we're almost done. It's, it's really time to choose what parameter sets we want. There were five published in the forum and there's way more in the, in the token log. Uh, and if you really want to understand the nuance, you know, this isn't about just getting out there and clicking some random buttons and throwing your votes out. We, if this is going to work, if we're really going to collaboratively design our own economy, we need to be informed. We need to create an informed uh, uh, populace. This is how democracy works. So come to our debates. There are three debates tomorrow. There are two debates on Sunday, one debate on Monday, leading up to the final day, which is on Tuesday, a special two hour debate that will be really fun, more like what you see in this picture where we'll put some uh, people who want to really uh, you know, go, go against each other and I'm gonna grill them. 
I'm going to get ask them the tough questions that people need to know about their policies and what the economics will look like. So uh, definitely uh, see if come to our debates. The debates is really the best place for you to open token log and and start throwing your votes at at different proposals. And then uh, if you really save some votes for that last two hour debate where we'll really hash it out, it's going to be a lot of fun. You don't want to miss it. Uh, and with that, I'll throw it to uh, Livia for the rewards working group. Yeah, I'll try to run with this one because I want to pass the floor to Megan for the for the real gold of the night. Uh, can you put put it out, Griff, please, in the cool. other slide? That one, yeah. So, um, yeah, we had a pivot in the direction of uh, the back end. Um, Hopefully everything will keep going on time. It was a wise decision from Christopher to just uh, change from uh, SQL to JSON docs just should be more inclusive because thanks because more uh, just more of our devs uh, are more familiar uh, with this way of working. And if you are a backend dev and you want to join NABs on making the magic happen, uh, please just drop a message in the reward system chat. And um, we're also having a cultural pivot. So uh, you can see in this graph, that was uh, an amazing um, a thing that Andy and Sid Code did for the research group. So this in the left side is all the people that dish praise and then the right side, all the people that receive praise. And you can see there is that huge uh, gray part that, that represents Ivy. So, what this means is that all this praise, beautiful praise that we're dishing in the beginning of this call that is voiced out and is recorded by um, uh, by Ivy and Mao Manu has been happening, helping lately too. Uh, this really helped us for a long time to establish this culture of voicing out the praise. But now that we are moving more in a uh, analysis direction, uh, this is actually making the data dirty. So we don't have so much uh, information about who has relationships with who. That is something really great for us to have. And also, like, we can use this type of graphs to um, see if there's any type of collusion happening. Uh, what is the balance from people dishing praise and receiving praise? Uh, what are some of the intersections that happen? So for that not to happen anymore, uh, I would love to ask for all of us to type our praises in um, in the praise chat once we, um, yeah, in, in this call, like that all the verbal praise, uh, we take ownership of them. And uh, yeah, and then now I'll pass to Nagin to uh, share the RAD demo. Thanks, Livy. Let me share my screen. Um, I'll try to keep it short since we are nearly at the top of the hour. Can can you see it? Can anybody see it? Yeah. Yeah, great. So this is the first version of the RAD dashboard, the Reward Analysis and Distribution dashboard. This uh, dashboard is made to help the reward board and well, the whole community to analyze uh, each praise period and generate the final token distribution. So this will basically happen every, at the end of each period, and we will use the insights this gives us to to form the future period. So we don't have the same situation with praise again that we had last time, where praise data went for a long time without anybody really looking. At it. This is, will, will also be a lab document, which will be online, so anybody can just open it, uh, choose here which um, which praise uh, period they want to, they want to uh, look into, and just run it all through. I've run it now with with some mock data for the for the example. I'll just go with, through it quickly. You can. It allows us to choose how many tokens we want to distribute and which how much we want to give to any of to each of the groups. So how much we want to praise, how much we want for the source grid, uh, how much we want to give the quantifiers, and and how much for the reward board. And then it just takes the data and uh, calculates the praise rewards, calculates the source grid rewards, cleans them, and makes some extra. For example, here it just creates a table which um, 
takes it by which sorts it by user so you can see how much each user gets uh it sorts it by quantifier so you can see each quantifier which praise he did and which uh, and how he valued it then you can just combine them with source grid and praise so you get also each user and the total and so we can go to the analysis this is for now this is a, a bit of a standing while the, re the rewards received was doing amazing work and they got so it's going to be changing uh, as they get new new ideas new insights for now we'll just uh, use the ones that octopus uh, did for the praise begetten debate so we get allocation percentages so top x percent of the of the praise uh, of the of the uh, praises got this percent of rewards the gini coefficient to measure inequality share entropy Nakamoto coefficient, just some standard measure. These 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 are all very uh, well. We explain them also, so anybody can just read, get an idea of what that means, and and yeah, take their own conclusions from that and and know what's happening. And then we get to some visualizations. We show how um, how often each valuation of each praise was given. So we have this this news. We're going to have this system where each praise can get graded from 0 to 144, depending on how relevant we think it is. So here we can keep check that uh, all categories get used. We don't have just, you know, people saying 0 or maximum. We can also see exactly how the praise gets distributed. So each user um, sorted by how much he got. So we can see how the, yeah, how, how it looks. Each Each, each period, all two, every two weeks. We have this great chart that Invent and Chill in the Rewards Research Group did, which visualizes all the praise going from, from, from who to whom it goes, which is just amazing. And you can just look into it and, and check exactly how much it is. Uh, we can also see the distribution of source grid. So, so we can also see how much, how, how much each person is, is uh, getting rewarded. And we can see the quantifiers, how much praise each quantifier did. So we can uh, also, yeah, see inequalities. So maybe somebody got some, some, someone who got a lot of praise, and they ended up praising much more than the rest. We can kind of control for that and decide to adapt because for now we are just uh, rewarding each quantifier as the same. And then yeah, well, we just calculate all the rewards and have a final chart which. Uh, Yeah, gets every user and shows us how much they get for each of the stuff they they can be rewarded for, and visualize it here. So we have, I don't, and Megan, if you can close it up in like 30 seconds. Yeah, I'm finishing. So this you can just you know change it and uh, for get a get a better perspective. And then in the end, you just export it. You can download it, and the reward board can upload it and. Um, Put it into into disperse app to to do the tokens and everybody can just you know run it back again and and check that everything is as as it should and so, yeah that's it that's it, uh, I'll it back to you. thank you so much noggin man there's so much happening every week in this community it's so cool uh thank you guys so much for jumping into this beautiful call Uh, there is, of course, uh, as Wonka mentioned, there's the uh, book club that meets right now in the in the DAO book club server. So you can hop over there to see that. Uh, and we're also having a little bit of a hack session. Uh, Nate and I will go over parameters that are useful. It's mostly a working session. It won't be like as interactive, but you're more than welcome to hang out and watch us watch us uh, uh, talk about it. And don't forget about the debates. Come to our debates and vote on token log. This is the last community call before we freeze the vote. The vote is frozen. The fro vote will be decided on Tuesday during the SoftGov call. So come to some debates. Make sure you put out the votes if you're informed. And, uh, and we'll see you all next week with, to see what the results are.